I'm Erin Rosa, and welcome to this week's episode of WGTV. Now this week I want to talk about a little bit about decanters, and I'm actually going to do this in two episodes. This week what I want to cover is just what a decanter is, the two different main styles that we have of them, and what they're for. Next week I'm actually going to do sort of a candlelit decanting for you, so you can see the steps, sort of the official, sort of classical way to do a decanting of red wine. This week let's just cover what a decanter is, what it does, and the two different styles and what they're for. I get asked about decanting an awful lot, which is why I wanted to talk about it today. So the two main styles of decanters we've had, and you've seen them, I just have a half size of this one. Basically we have this one that you've seen in restaurants all over the place and they'll put their house wine in it sometimes. We refer to this as a Venetian style of decanter. It's just basic, sort of straight up, it can just be a glass pitcher for all intents and purposes, but really it's just a holder to put wine in. The next one is, we call this a captain's decanter, and the reason we do, and they come in all kinds of different shapes, but the idea being is that it has a wide bowl on the bottom, and why we call it a captain's decanter is that years ago, it used to be our ship, and it's thought that this would help it stop from spilling. So we still refer to them as a captain's style decanter. You're going to find different lips on them. This one has a slanted one in regards to pouring, some will be straight across. Make sure if you're buying a decanter that you actually hold it if you can and see if you're comfortable with the way it fits in your hand. We have some that we call a duck style of decanter, which is this basically but a longer style. They all serve the same purpose, so really what aesthetic you, you, that you find pleasing or that you enjoy the way it looks or you know how it feels in your hand, pick that one. So what do decanters do? For all intents and purposes, they hold the wine in them, so if you don't want the bottle on the table, they offer you an option. But decanters of this style actually are what we use them for, is to put wine in contact with oxygen. We also use them for a vessel to separate wine from sediment. When we decant wine, we have two main styles of decanting. We decant for chunks or sediment. When red wine get ages, it actually loses color over time. The color can't suspend itself anymore in the liquid, and so we have these little molecules that act like sponges and soak up color, and they end up looking like tea leaves as they compress and solidify, and they fall to the bottom. These won't hurt you, they don't taste bad, unless you take a whole chunk of them, but generally they don't taste bad, but they don't look pretty in your teeth. So basically, we want to separate them out from the wine so that you don't have chunks in your teeth. So to do that, and what I'm going to demonstrate next week is how we actually use a candle to get the sediments out of the bottle. But this week I just want to cover the styles and then next week we'll be able to cover how we actually do it. But the idea is, is that we're going to take the liquid in a bottle and if we're decanting for sediment, we're going to separate the chunks from it. We're going to leave the chunks into the bottle and the, that we take away. And this we has our wine in it that is, is clean. It doesn't have any sort of part to particles in it. Now this style of decanter, and there's definitely a word of thought sort of out there in the wine world that any red wine can benefit from a bit of decanting. This is going to be a little bit of your sort of preference. If you're interested about trying experiments with decanting, I suggest you try one glass, pour it right from the bottle, and then decant a glass and let it sit for a little bit of time, and try the two glasses side by side from the same bottle to see if there's a difference. But this bottle we generally, or this style of decanter we generally use when we decant for what we call aeration. For all intents and purposes, aeration is about doing some wine yoga. We want the wine to relax, take a deep breath, open up to us, and just sort of become who it is in a more relaxed state. We do this especially with young style of red wines that have, um, just sometimes they're a little tight, we call them in the bottle. It's sort of like when you know, you meet, you meet a new person, and you know that they're just holding back, they're a little bit shy, and you just sort of just want them to kind of feel more relaxed and open up. Exactly what we do when we do said, um, decanting for aeration. So for this style of decanting, literally what we do is you take a bottle, you turn it upside down into decanter, and you're going to let it chug. Literally, you want to hear it plunk out of the bottle, chug, 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 and in doing so, you're going to get it in contact with oxygen as quickly as possible. You can use this style of decanter as well for an aeration style. It's just classic, uh, classically sort of the more classic style for sediment removal, but both styles are a vessel to put a wine in. It's just their format. So, two styles of decanting that we have. We have one for aeration, which is wine yoga, let the wine relax. If you want to try sort of a practice at home or sort of an experiment, pour a glass out of a bottle just on its own. The next one, sort of decant the bottle into a, a container. It can be a Tupperware container if you like as well. It doesn't need to be glass. And let it sit for a couple minutes and then give it a go and see if you notice a difference. If you have a wine style, such as a vintage wine, a Cabernet, some big straw, something you think is going to throw some sediment, next week I'm going to talk about how to know when a wine needs decanting, but also how to do it. 
and you're going to sort of use a candle. We're going to carefully make sure the sediment doesn't get all mixed in with the liquid in the bottle, and we're going to take them apart. So I hope I've sort of given you a bit of insight into what the different styles are, the two different styles of reasons we do decanting, and next week we'll play with fire, and I'll do a candle lit decanting for you, and we'll go through all the steps of that. So have a good week. Try some great wines, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, everybody.